Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We are working on our ECX ruckus today. We're torment. Um, but uh, you know, one thing we're doing here is just uh, rebuilding the gearbox. Uh, this one came on a used uh, torment chassis that we bought off of eBay, and you can see here that there's some damage. Um, to the to the screw holes and you know this probably wouldn't really affect performance too much because you know it, the the two halves of the gearbox can still be sealed um, but you know when, since we were taking this part anyways just thought we would do it right uh, so we got a new gearbox case here we're gonna go ahead and um, you know the, the reason why these screw holes are the mangled there was because the previous owner used these counter sunk screws instead of flathead screws. So we're going to go ahead and replace these with the proper screws and uh, pack the gear case full of some of this uh, just multi purpose. Uh, this is Valvoline synthetic uh, red grease, you know, usually used for automotive purposes. We, we have it from uh, working on a car, so uh, that's what we like to put in our gearboxes. And, uh, you know, you'll need some sort of, uh, some sort of grease in there. Um, that's just what we like to use. So go ahead and open up this case here and... Now, if you guys recall, or you can reference one of our previous videos, we took this gearbox apart, and it was a nice surprise to find metal gears in here. I don't know why this screw is stripping. I'm going to grab another screwdriver here. Oh, that's not good. You'll see that the, the colors of the screws don't match here. We were just grabbing something from our our extra screw box. We were thinking about switching over to to stainless screws as well, but haven't had the chance to order those up. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a larger head here. There we go. And so when we when we originally opened up this gearbox, we were pleased to find a set of metal screws already. We had actually ordered a, a new set of metal, uh, sorry, not metal screws, metal gears. But that was a nice surprise. Usually the metal uh, gear set costs an extra 30 bucks. They come stock on the brushless versions of the uh, of the Ruckus, uh, or the Ruckus and the Torment, but um, the brush versions use plastic gears. So you'll definitely want to upgrade to the metal gear set if you're planning on going with any sort of powerful brushed setup. Kind of as a side note, we were we have another uh, brushed ruckus chassis laying around and one thought there was that we would just uh, put in a you know, not so powerful brushed system, just um, something you know relatively affordable, and uh, you know just see what the limits of those plastic gears are. All right, so we've got the gears here, and I'm just going to transfer everything over. So um, put these here. There's a pin in here. Go ahead and pop that out. Uh, another thing that uh, we found when we opened up this gearbox was there were some metal fragments in it, and there was no grease, interestingly enough. So it seems like the, the previous owner um, probably you know, stripped some screws and was trying to figure out what to do next and decided to sell the car or, or whatnot. So 
So I'll just go ahead and transfer these pins and bearings over. Uh, so another thing we did was, why are we missing bearing? Oh, huh, that's odd. Seems like we're missing the bearing. Anyways, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks again for watching.